Hello friends, it's Carrie and Loves to Craft and I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's been a minute. Um, your girl here hasn't uh, been feeling all the greatest. Um, for those um, that you know, um, I just recently um, had uh, some blood work done for Lyme. Um, I'm not sure if that's what's going on. Um, but I've been dealing with uh, swollen glands underneath my neck. Um, I went to emerge last week on Friday and he diagnosed me with strep throat. Um, for those uh, who've been following me, um, I had a recently, uh, about a month or so ago, I wasn't feeling good, really bad sore throat. Um, I even looked down in my throat and I saw some white spots on the uvula and um i didn't go to the doctors i i i thought i was getting better because i was gargling with salt water and um taking some cold and flu medicine because i also felt very fluish and feverish as well so um yeah and then now um i'm still having swollen glands i the, he put me on antibiotics and it's been over a week and I, I, I'm not as lethargic as I was, but, um, I'm still having swallowed glands. So, um, I don't know if there's an underlining immune system problem and, um, I do show a lot of signs of Lyme disease. Um, and I'm hoping that I'll get some answers soon. So I'm just waiting on the Lyme um results and go from there so i wanted to come on here and show you what i bought from birdie the recycled hippie chick if you have not checked out her channel please go over there send her send her that carrie ann sent you guys over there i'm telling you this girl is just um, amazing um she does very uh, grungy art. She's, um, an amazing channel. She, I, I've learned so much from her just by watching and, and just kind of like, you know, um, not being so perfect with my art. And I think we all kind of struggle with that sometimes. And I, and I still do as an artist, I feel like mm. I want everything to look perfect. And, um, so with that said, um, she, was selling some journals and I reached out to her because she posted them on her uh, YouTube channel and um, yeah so she got back to me and um, this is this is the one it is let's get into it um, like a quilted soft cover oh my gosh guys look at the front of that I just love it because it's so grungy and she even left strings attached to the bottom if I wanted to add my own beads, which girlfriend, I'm definitely going to because I got lots and lots and lots of beads that are just sitting here. And why not put them to good use and put them on, on here? Like, they're just so pretty. I just love her style. She is so cool. And I love how she made mixed everything together like she got sequins in here she even added these little seed beads and she um sewed like some uh slow stitching on it and lots of yummy uh vintagey fabric and when you go into it she like did like this kind of quilting like i said it's just it's oh it's so soft um but yeah, so there's like this like quilting pattern. I don't know what she put in here. If there's like some batting or maybe some layered um, some layered fabric, but I'm not too sure. But let's get into this. Oh, I can't wait to work in this. She's got lots of yummy, yummy, yummy grungy paper that I get to work with. And look at this. She made a little pocket out of a sleeve. 
Isn't that magnificent? And then, of course, she sent me some of her art, her some ephemera. So cool. Love it. Look at this fish. This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then um, there's so much to do in this. I can't wait to use it. So freaking cool. I love all the pages that she did. It's got like a little fold out page here. This is like a pocket with these grungy envelope. Oh, look at that. Her layering and her collage work is just so cool. I love it, girl. I love how you just throw things together and it just all comes out looking really cool. And I and I love your style, so I'm in love with it. And I can't wait to play in my new journal. Oh, this is so fun. I love that. That's cool. I don't know what, how I'm going to interpret those, but I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. And then this card that says love and hugs on it. So cool that you even used like cards in here. I thought that was pretty neat. Oh, I love that. That itself, like if I just put some like um, some fabric on there on the side. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this card, everybody. This is definitely vintage. It must have been um, somebody that she uh, knows. Uh, mine, Minone and Harry. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Oh, that is so cool. I love it. She's got like these little tabs with like a, um, a stamped image on the fabric and some slow stitching so cool love all the different papers oh this is neat look at this she made like this fold out page and this pocket with some frilly fabric oh that is so sweet everything that I touch it's just, oh, words can't describe what it's like to get some uh, treasure like this. That is so freaking cute. Jack and the Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. <laughs> Girl, you're just so amazing. I just love your style. I can't repeat it enough because it's so cool. And this one folds out like that. Lots and lots and lots to play with. And then she made this pocket out of this um, burlap, but it's pink. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I just love her collaging. So cool, girl. I love it. I can't wait to play in it. Oh, I just love how she just puts everything together. So cool. Lots and lots of papers to work in. She even used like vintage magazine um, recipe book or paper. That's neat. And you know, like when you when you buy a, a journal from someone, you can do whatever you want with it because it's yours. So you you make you make whatever you want. Like you know, like it's just she put it together and you just rebuild it and make something that you want. So that's what I love about. Um, supporting other artists and um, making art from other people's work because you it's kind of like a collaboration of each other's uh, work that's cool 
look at that. She's added like these little like um, scribbly um, marks on there. That's really cool. Got uh, some doily stuff that I could use for um, my collaging. That is really, really, really awesome. Ooh, look at this page. This page is like done itself. Like I, I wouldn't know what to do with that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, girl. I love it. And this page here is like definitely one of my favorites because um, my mom loves cardinals and my dad got my mom this really cool cardinal chime um, when he passed away. So it just kind of me like represents that my dad's looking down on me so oh my gosh and then look at the back look at that poodle oh, I love the poodle the poodle is just that's what intrigued me about this is because I love that poodle it just kind of brings me back to my childhood so there you have it there is the the journal and uh I can't wait and I'm so excited that I have some uh journals made by the lovely uh, birdie, the recycled hippie chick, Amy. Oh, she's just so lovely. And then, out of surprise, she sent me this. And I was like, what? Because she, she said uh, to me, you know, like, what other ones did you, did you like that you wanted? And I'm like, <laughs> there, I would have taken them all if I, if I could. <laughs> But your girl here has so many um, journals that, um, yeah, now I got lots to work in. So, because um, you don't always have to work in one journal. You can work in a few. Like, I'm working in this one that I got from, um, what's her name? This one I got from Lisa Goddard. And I love how she bound the the uh, book together so uh, like I've been working in this one it's very grungy and yummy and it's a really nice cute little size so um, it's my last collage uh, one that I did I'll have to do a flip through of this sometime once I get it all done. And then, so I got that one. And then I have this one here that I made. Trying all different techniques. As you can see, I'm definitely, she had, her and I have a lot of the same style. Um, I have a lot of different stencils that I use that I create with. Um, and stamps that I use. See, there's some of my jelly prints. Um, just a random photo that I, you know, decorated up. And so, yeah, I'll have to do a flip through of this. This was a lot of fun. This book's actually almost done so maybe maybe we'll do uh, a flip through of that because um i think i might take some of the pages out because i find it a little bit too chunky and then this one here is my art journal that i made um i love this one um this was like one of my first not one, none of my one of my first journals that i made but um yeah you know like just trying different techniques and just having fun and i have trying texture paste and that kind of stuff so i got all these pages to play play with so that one there i did with stamps did a background 
And I just gesso the pages first before I start working on them. Doing different types of like mark making and playing with my stencils. So yeah, this one here, um, I think there's quite a bit of uh, pages in here too. Um, so I, ha I need to, um, this book here is mainly for like uh, doing art projects that don't, that are kind of flat, you know. I don't know. I might take it apart and redo it. We'll see. That one there turned upside down, but I'll show you. So, yeah. So, there's this one. And that's the back. And I use my handmade tie-dye uh, sprays. And I did a gesso resist with the stencil. And that's how I got that... Um, the uh that on there and then those are those foam stickers that I just did some glitter um stuff on it so yeah so I got lots of journals to work in but so back to my story so yeah so she's like um what other ones did you like so I I showed her this one and this one was also part uh she gave this to me and I was like oh my god I'm so excited like look at that isn't that gorgeous I love it this is a really nice size as well again she's um added in her own um stuff which is so cool love it so cool I love everything that she does like I said I I can't tell you yeah how if you like this style or if you want to try something different just doing some collaging and um, doing some art journaling um, check her out um, she's so cool she has like um, lots of stories that she talks about on her channel that's so grungy goodness that's her back her backdrop papers oh I love it this is so cool, Amy. I can't wait to try it. To just play and have a good time. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, there's my packaging that I sent her. I sent her some Happy Mail. Look at that. She even uses uh, packaging. Isn't that amazing or what? Ooh, look at that. Those are her uh, eco dyed papers. Ooh, girlfriend, that's cool. That's cool. I wish I could get into that, but no, I don't do that. Have you ever thought about um, Amy um, selling some of your eco dye papers? Because I'm sure people will buy that. Hint, hint. <laughs> your girl over here will. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is so fun. Fun, fun. So fun. Oh my gosh, Amy girlfriend. If you're watching this video, and I know you will be, <laughs> um you need to you need to do this. This is these are just absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Aw, I love how she just takes these images and just oh love it. So cool. Ooh, fun. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, look at that yumminess right there. Oh, this is so cool, Amy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, girlfriend. Look at that. Look at, she even sewed on one of those, um, your, uh, zipper thingies. I don't know what it's called, but. Look at the bug. I just love her slow stitching. It's so good. Oh, I love this. I love this. Look, it says love on it. Oh, Amy. Girlfriend, you are so talented. I just, I, I admire you and I just think you're wonderful. 
Um, so your girl here, uh, since she hasn't been feeling well and haven't been on YouTube, I, uh, been doing some jelly printing as you guys know. Um, I did my last video. I had, um, showed you, uh, what some process of me doing some jelly printing, but these are the ones that I, um, the final, um, ones that I did. Oh, I love that. That turned out so cool. So I just wanted to show you what I did. Took my stencils and did some jelly printing. I don't know if we, that was on my, the video or not, but, um, to go in for my new journals that I got. Look at that. So fun. What's this one? And this is the uh, stencil by Tiffany Goffsmith. Um, when you uh, on Stencil Girl, she did the I did the subscription for June, and I bought her set, and then I uh, ended the subscription because I didn't want stencils to keep coming. Here's this one. This I believe I think I did this one on. Video, I'm not sure, or no, I think I may have showed you it. I don't know, girl, girls, and guys, whoever's listening, my memory is terrible. Got a green one there. Get some more of these. these are those Tiffany Goffsmiths um, stencils. I love the eyes. The eyes are stencils are very popular right now for um, mixed media. These ones here are my stamp foam stamps that I showed you guys. Those are fun. This one. This one. This one. The moons and stars. This one, and I use those um, uh, embossing things for fondant that I got on Ali to make texture. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun um, making um, some collage paper. I did some mark making. Here is some more moons and stars as you can see i definitely want to put that in my journal some music paper Just some grunginess this one on some tissue paper one these are great I love uh, stencils like this because then you could just rip them all up and it's that one I might add some marks onto that like some of these I might uh, keep working on them as I built like you can build you can build up on them which is really fun this one it's one of my new stencils I got And got, I used um, this, uh, just give me a second here, these foam um, numbers that are on the sheet. And I just print, I just put them on my jelly print for making marks. Got this one. This one. see here okay this one lots of grunginess lots of yumminess that's what I like Oop, these ones stuck together that's okay because these are all gonna get ripped up anyway so because like I said they're just collage papers so 
This one here, I just um, did some neon paint and just threw some splatter. I love this one. This one turned out really cool with the numbers. And same with this one. Not fun. And then I did this one and I just put some light marks on it. So I got that and just give me one second and I just wanted to show you a couple more things here. Um, oh, and then I made this to go in my art journal that, um, Birdie the Recycle Hippie Chick made me, so I got that. And then I have this old, old, old hymn book. And um, it's over like, probably over 100 years old. And I've just been using this as like roll off paper. So there's some um, pages in here that I've used and it's so this paper is great for collaging so I I like to use this book a lot for uh for wiping off um your uh paint as you can see I've already wiped off some paint in here but um yeah so that's it everybody um oh and then I also made this um, flower today because uh, I want to add that into my journal as well so I got some things started and then uh, yeah I think I'll come back and I will do a mixed media page with you guys and um, yeah lo I'm looking forward to it so thank you everybody for stopping in and checking out my the new journals that I got and I hope you're all are doing well I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.